Young fella, let's talk about that shot. You know, good good rhythm early in the ball game. Couple of big threes to help get the team started here tonight. That's the part of your game that probably need the most work when you hadn't played for 994 days, just shooting the basketball. What's that work been like getting you to a point now where you're making such big contributions with that perimeter jumper as well? Um, it's just been a lot of consistent work. Uh, the coaches really believe in me to take those shots. Uh, they, they work with me every day after practice. I get shots up, uh, just improving my uh, confidence behind the arc, and, and they just put the confidence in me, so I came out here and performed. So, What was the key to you guys sticking together through that eight-game losing streak, which, you know, let's face it, it's a tough time for any uh, athletic team, but you guys stuck together as a group, and now some of the things that were eluding you all, rebounding as a team, you're doing that much better. Defending as a team, you're doing that much better. What's been the key these last three games for you guys getting back on the winning track the way you are at the most important time of the year? I mean, yeah, we, we went on a, a little dry streak uh, for a while, but, man, we're, we're brothers, so we, we really band together and we stuck through it. Uh, we're, we're, we're family on and off the court, so we could really camp, uh, come together and uh, keep playing through this that dry streak and uh, pull out three wins. And we have Akai stand, uh, stepping up. We got the big boy, number 99, uh, stepping up really uh, big for us. So he's figured it out. The team's figured it out. So we're looking good going into um, into the playoffs. What has the mentality been like? And I know coaches talked about gang rebounding, but my goodness, 20 offensive rebounds in this game tonight. Yeah. Um, yeah. You guys are just relentless on the offensive glass. Where does that come from? Um, really just practice. We, we do we do rebounding drills multiple times every practice. So <laughs> if we didn't do it in the game, then, man, I don't know what we're doing in practice. Uh, guys like Pennick, uh, you mentioned Aiden, obviously. Uh, you've watched these guys develop in practice. I mean, this is a time of the year where, as a plebe, things can kind of get a little off kilter for guys this time of the year. But Jordan seems to be really hitting his stride right now, does he not? Yeah, no, JP has been playing really good for us. Uh, he, he's had a tough season, like, he, he went through a couple games where he didn't get, uh, get any playing time, but he's really bounced back, man. He's going to be a big, uh, a big key, key factor for us in going to the playoffs and next year uh, into the future. Just what's the last you know, 10 days been like where you, that, you can get that feeling of winning back uh, in that locker room? Does it make it easier to go to practice and uh, things like that now as a ball club? Yeah, of course. We just go day by day, really. Practice by practice, game by game, and it's really just uh, looking to the next thing we have to do and just staying together as a team. All right, big fellow. Congratulations. We'll see you on Saturday at American. Thank you. You got it. Donovan Draper joining us here as the mids get the job done here tonight as they hold off Lafayette's run late. 11-1 run by the Leopards to get back in it here. And uh, the mids hold them off here and win it tonight. Assistant coach Jordan Lyons joins us now. All right. Who gets credit for all the work with Aiden Keo right now? I mean, my goodness. You all as a staff I know have been working so hard. He's been putting in all of the work. But what is it about him that's allowed him to become such a key contributor, a trusted contributor right now for this basketball team? No question. Uh, you know, we're so proud of Aiden right now. And I think what you've seen the last couple weeks with Aiden is uh, it's just his drive, you know, his ambition, uh, getting in before practice, get skill work in, work on his game after practice, uh, staying after and getting work in. And uh, Aiden gives us a different element in, in the front court, right? He's 6'10", and... Uh, he plays physicality, and he's an anchor for us defensively and post. So I'm so proud of him, so proud of how he's grown. Um, and, you know, it's been a spark that we really needed, definitely inside. And uh, Aiden's best basketball is so far ahead of him in yeah. the future as long as he continues to keep working uh, and continues to have the drive and ambition that he has right now. When I talked with Coach D before the game, you know, I kind of referenced it as what he and Jordan Pennick in particular – the role that Lysander and Mac kind of play together now, mm-hmm. it's kind of giving you all a little bit of an IV here late in the season when you need it the most, you know, during that eight-game losing streak. And, you know, teams can go one of two ways. This one chose the, the right fork in the road here, though. They continue to play hard, and all of a sudden now, again, you guys are out-rebounding people. Yeah. There was 20 offensive rebounds in this game tonight. What's been the key as you all have looked at the last three games, though, that have allowed you all to find that winning feeling again? Yeah, I think, you know, just getting back to our pillars and our values as a program, right? Defend, rebound, take care of the ball. And we really had to look from a coaching staff perspective. We had to look at some things schematically to see if we could help our guys. And to our guys' credit, they are doing an unbelievable job of buying into some of those changes. And I think you can all see that these last three games, we've really started to defend people, right? And 
our defense is always going to be what fuels our offense. And uh, guys like JP, Lai, Mac, Aiden, all these guys who are, are merging now at the right time, buying into their roles, and they're just doing what they do, right? They're playing with confidence. They're playing with belief. They're playing with conviction. And I'm just so proud of these guys. And you know, that's three in a row, which is the first time this year we've gotten three in a row. So this team, this team is heading in the right direction at the right time. So I have to continue to keep getting better every day. For Austin Benini, the fact that, I mean, look, at one point he was – basically 38 minutes a game mm -hmm. last couple of games when you get a lead like you have mm -hmm. you know you can slim that down to 32 33 mm -hmm. at this time of the year how much of a difference does that make for the guy that obviously controls the throttle for this basketball team yeah it's really important because we all know how how valuable austin benini is our program and uh, how much he controls the tempo of the game and you know, how much we do through him, right? And I think a lot of that has been the emergence of other guys like JP and Lai and Mac and Austin Inge. You know what he's going to give you, just consistency, being a veteran. So it's allowed AB to be able to come and get some more strategic rest around media timeouts, and he's really buying into it and leading and being a great teammate on the bench, coaching guys up in timeouts when he's out. I think that's helping him on the court as well, not only getting the extra rest, but taking those opportunities to lead his teammates and taking those opportunities to kind of be a coach off the floor. And once again, man, it's just really helping our team. You know, our team is really surging in, in, at the right time and just really proud of these guys. The one area for Donovan Draper, when you don't play for 994 days, mm -hmm. that shot is probably the last thing to finally come into focus. Mm -hmm. He's shot it a lot more confidently here of late. Obviously huge here tonight with three threes in this game. If if he does that, look out. Right? Absolutely. And you know, <laughs> credit to Donovan. You know, after practice every single day, he is uh, staying out here getting hundreds of threes up. And that's that's a credit to him and nobody else because he's he has a self-motivation. He knows he wants to be a really good shooter. And today he stepped into all his threes with a lot of confidence, a lot of conviction, really looked like a shooter. And he, he has the capability to be able to do that. And when he does that, it opens up his entire game because you know he's going to rebound, you know he's going to defend, you know he can put the ball on the floor and get downhill. He starts adding that to his game consistently like he did tonight. Um, you know, his game just skyrockets completely and just proud of him for the work that he's been putting in and he deserves it and our team deserves it. Appreciate the time. We'll see you Saturday. Absolutely. Go, go, uh, go Mids.